Steelers fan asks, so to my current understanding, the function scrape attribute is used to get or find code that is inside of an attribute, but not to actually pull anything specific out of it. And find regular expression is used to actually pull the desired text from some scrape text from some scraped code or text. Using the element editor, it seems that the regular expression selector is used to target matches, but only under specific conditions. This is the part where I'm getting lost. The same regex that works for me using the find regular expression will not work in the element editor. I'm struggling to understand what I'm doing wrong here. I want to try and understand how to best use each of these scraping tools particularly the proper use of the advanced element editor, but each new time I utilize regex, it gets more confusing than the last time. So it sounds like you mostly get it, but I think if we look at a couple examples, it will help a lot. So the first part of your question asks, so to my current understanding, the function scrape attribute is used to get or find code that is inside of an attribute, but not to actually pull anything specific out of it, which is correct. But for anybody watching who doesn't quite get that, let's go over a quick example. So we're going to use a set command and pull in a scrape attribute. The scrape attribute function allows you to scrape the value of an attribute of an HTML element. So I'm going to use the element selector here, which is the green brackets button to click and as you can see, when I move my mouse around the browser, the different HTML elements are being highlighted. And uh, when I click on one, it will uh, select that HTML element. Now, if I choose an attribute to scrape, in this case, the value, and hit run, it's going to scrape the attribute named value, and it's going to scrape the value of that. Now scrape attribute is always going to scrape the entire value of the attribute. So if I select um, another diff, another one, such as this, and this time I choose inner text and hit run, it's going to scrape the entire value of the inner, ex, inner text attribute. And we can have a brief look in the advanced element editor to see what the HTML elements are and what the attributes are. So in this case, I selected the H3 tag, which is the HTML element. The attributes are listed here and there are things like the tag name, which would be H3, uh, the inner text, uh, the style would be an attribute. Anything that has an equals sign after it, so style equals, that's an attribute ID equals that's an attribute when when the tag closes but there's an ending tag like this then it's also going to have like an inner text an inner HTML things like that so those are the different attributes and this is the whole HTML element and we'll come back to this a little bit in a minute so just one more time script attribute once you've selected an element on the page, it's going to scrape the entire value of whatever attribute you chose. So the inner text of the H3 element, it's always going to scrape this and we don't modify it directly in the scrape attribute. We always get the entire attribute. Now, once we have the value of the attribute, you, if you want, you can further refine it with regex using the find regular expression function. So now that we have this inner text of the H3 element, or in this case, uh, you bot may have tagged, or maybe using the ID attribute, it doesn't matter how you get to this element. What matters is once you get this text, you can further refine it using regular expression. So let's pretend that we want to get the percentage because perhaps it may not be a constant. So it may always be changing. Uh, maybe sometimes this is 90 or 60. We don't know what the percentage is. We just wanna get this specific thing out of the text. This is when we would use a regular expression, but we would not use it directly in scrape attribute. Instead, what we would do is set another variable 
call it percentage. And now we can use a find regular expression and we can put the variable here as the text and you should be able to just put the scrape attribute in here as well because it's a function so it will allow other functions and we want to get the percent uh, so the percent is always going to be a number and it's always going to be followed by this percent sign in this case we can just get the number as well as the percent sign so a number in regular expression is uh, slash d and then more than one you add a plus sign and in this case we would also add a percentage and it doesn't hurt to escape it, so we might as well. So we're gonna hit okay, and now we run it. And now we get this 100%. So this is when you use a regular expression. Once you've already had the full text of what you uh, wanted to scrape, you can then further refine it using a regular expression in order to pull something more specific. Like in our case, we wanted to get only uh, any amount of numbers followed by a percentage sign. That's what that regex is saying. So scrape attribute scrapes the entire value of an attribute without any refinement. Then you can manipulate the data or refine it using find regular expression. So now let's go on to the part about the advanced element editor. You ask about using regex in the element editor and also just generally how to use it. The advanced element editor is a tool that helps us tell UBot what element we want to target. When you use the element selector, UBot does its best job to try and find the unique element that you are clicking on. So for example, uh, as we saw before, we could use the element selector, choose something, and UBot already tries to figure this out for you, uh, what to put here. But the the reason you would want to use the advanced element editor would be to modify this. Um, perhaps it's using an offset, like if I click on one of these down here, uh, it's using an offset. And generally you wanna avoid that if you can, it's not always possible, but if you, if you can avoid something like, in this case, it's just saying, I want the 11th link on the page. That's a bad way to target things. There's a lot of links on the page uh, if they ever come and update, you know, maybe they remove a link, maybe they add a link, this is going to give you the wrong thing. So because this is so general in this case, because it's saying just give me the 11th link, we're not telling you about specifically what we want. So this may be a case where we want to use the advanced element editor. And perhaps we want to say, I don't want the 11th link on the page. I want uh, the link that leads to the wiki page, you know, and so how do we do that? Well, first of all, we uh, have the whole HTML element here. So that is the a tag, which is a hyperlink. Inside of that, there's an image. And there's also, let's see here. So after the image, there is also the text. So this image, it looks like, I'm trying to see around my mic here. So it looks like this image as well as this whole hyperlink here, that's what it's getting. And so that's the whole HTML element. Now here are all the attributes that we can uh, specify the element by. So what we want to do, what the whole point of the advanced element editor is, is it's for us to tell UBot what element we want to select. In this case, I don't think UBot selected the right element. So I want to say, give me a, the link to the UBot wiki page. So I would personally probably do this. I would say tag name A because we want a link. Then I would add another attribute. I would say and, and I would do something like maybe the href uh, contains the word wiki. Now in the first attribute uh, match, we used exact match, which is on by default. But in the second one, maybe, maybe we just wanna make sure that the link contains the word wiki. We don't necessarily uh, want the entire uh, link like this. And so perhaps we wanna use a wildcard. Now wildcard, uh, allows us to use a star as a wildcard character. The star represents anything and for any length until the end of the attribute. So in this case, we're targeting the href attribute. 
So that's everything inside of the quotation marks here. So it's href equals quote everything until the end quote there. That's the value of the attribute. Now a star will allow us to represent any character for any length. So if we put a star after wiki, then it's going to find it. And we can also put a star before wiki. So now it now I'll select any characters in any length until the word wiki, then the word wiki must be there. Then after that, there could be any characters for any length until the end of the attribute. So now we have these two different attributes, but if we look over here, we can see that we have three matches. Now this is generally not a desired amount of matches. Typically we want to be more specific and say, we only want one match or in the case of a list you want to have probably more you know several but in this case we're only talking about trying to find one single thing and so maybe i want to add another attribute and in this case i'm going to target by the inner text and we get one match and this is probably overkill but i'm just trying to show an example of how to use these um, so you may not want to target it exactly like this so let's use a regular expression this time. Now for regular expression, keep in mind, this is only going to affect this, the value of the attribute. Uh, same with the wildcard, by the way. So we're not modifying what's being scraped here. If we wanna scrape the inner text attribute, then we're gonna get that no matter what we put in here. If we wanna scrape the value attribute, we're gonna get that and we're gonna get it in its entirety, unmodified. So whatever we do in here, this is all about telling UBot what element to target. Once it knows what element to target, we can tell it what attribute to get and it's always gonna get that in its entirety, okay? So let's talk about the regular expression as a brief example. Perhaps we want it to be something wiki page. So we, we know that we want wiki page to be in there. Um, perhaps the text before a wiki page could change though. Maybe instead of it saying UBot Studio wiki page, it might say UBot Studio 5 wiki page, or it may say uh, just UBot wiki page or something like that. So we can specify with the regular expression what we want to allow here. And in this case, let's just say we want to allow letters, numbers, and spaces in any amount. So this regular expression is now looking in the inner text attribute. And if it, if it matches this regular expression, then it'll count as a match. And so now we're looking for all three of these matches together. The first is the exact match. It must be a link. The second is a wildcard. The links href attribute must contain any character and any number of characters but then after that it must contain the word wiki then after that it can contain any character in any amount and after that the inner text attribute must contain lowercase or uppercase letters numbers spaces in any amount but after that it must contain wiki page exactly like that and then i can hit ok and we just target all that um, basically to get this link. And so now that we did all that, we're only looking for the inner text attribute, which should just be UBot Studio Wiki page. So if I hit run, we get UBot Studio Wiki page. So even though we use the regular expression, when we were telling UBot what element we wanted to target, it's not affecting the output here. If you wanna do that, we can then perform a find regular expression or a replace regular expression or something else on the scrape text. So all of these match types are working to some, simply select the element attribute. We're not changing the data we get from it. UBot will scrape the entire attribute value and then after that you can change it if you want to. So I hope that this helps and if you like the video, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'll be posting more videos here soon. Hope to see you there.